The screwdriver is the most common tool, but few use it correctly. The most common mistake is not using both axial and radial force. In plain words, this means that when you use it, you need to not just twist it, but also apply downward pressure. And this takes us to the second most common mistake, which is not inserting the screw perfectly perpendicular. To avoid ending up with the crooked screw, use two fingers to hold the screw straight and then push down using perfect downward pressure. Do this and you'll have a perfectly straight screw. And to complete the job, use two fingers to continue holding the screw and keep twisting and you'll have a perfectly straight screw that works great. And before we go back to the video, if you have not yet done so, please subscribe. It helps me greatly grow the channel and bring you even more great content. Thank you. There are many different types of screws that require different types of bits and it's almost impossible to have a screwdriver that is exact and right for every situation. For this reason, another most common mistake is not to have a screwdriver with interchangeable bits. These bit sets are not very expensive and they allow you to have the right bit and the right head and the right screwdriver for every occasion. Another common mistake when using a screwdriver is not having a pilot hole for the screw. Especially when working with hardwood or with screws that are quite wide, not using a pilot hole can result in screws that break or can result in wood that breaks. And finally, stripping the screw is a very common mistake when using a screwdriver. This can happen for various reasons, but most often it's because you're using the wrong bit, the screwdriver is the wrong size, or because you're not applying downward pressure perfectly at 90 degrees. The screw needs to be perfectly at 90 degrees and your pressure while you're twisting needs to be perfectly at 90 degrees. I hope that you found this video helpful and if you did I think you will find helpful the video link above about the most common mistakes when using a tape measure. I also want to thank you all for watching my videos, there's been many of you that have been watching them, that have subscribed, I appreciate it very much.